to today's video guys. As you can tell by the title, we've got a pretty fun little install that I'm gonna be doing. I'm gonna keep it short and sweet. I'm gonna go ahead and show you the Blowfish Racing tow hook. I've already unboxed it a little bit and uh, kind of did a quick little mock-up on the unit. So this is just gonna brace the front bumper support. Um, I'm gonna probably be using that spacer and then it's got two side supports in the event that you have a front splitter. Um, like the Laguna Seca splitter. So it does come with two different sizes of bolts, one shorter, one longer. That's with and without the spacer. Reason being why I decided to pick this up, I figured after um, not one, but two blown drive shafts. Um, I do have a different brand drive shaft now, um, but figured might as well just pick up a little bit of some insurance. So it goes on the front, uh, makes it a little bit easier to get the car on like a trailer in the event that it does break down. And it's also very beneficial to have when you take your car out onto a road course, which is definitely on the to-do list. So with that, I'm gonna go ahead and get the uh, front bumper ready to come off the car, because that's pretty much all that the install should really entail. Um, we're crossing our fingers, we don't have to do any cutting. I have already previously cut the front fascia because I have a Paxton supercharger on the car and that front intercooler does require you to cut um, from the back to out for a little bit more clearance for the intercooler. So we're going to see um, how easy this is to do and uh, show you guys everything that it entails along the way. First things first, we've got a bunch of these plastic push pins that got to come out. To, uh, I think there's seven or eight on the radiator covers. Probably more if you drive a 13, 14 car. You may or may not have to move your intake out of the way. I do because I have that uh, Paxton supercharger intake piece. But now with that out of the way, we just have two, I believe, eight millimeter bolts for the top of the bumper. Now the next thing we need to do is get the bolts that are on the side of the bumper. So what I recommend, and I've already done, is turn your wheel uh, rather than pull it off. Just gives you a little bit more room to get access to these two bolts. Car, there's a lot more bolts that go into being able to remove the front bumper. Uh, even on a stock, you know, 10 to 12 car, there's going to be a couple bolts underneath for the, um, I don't know, I guess the air dam shroud or whatever you want to call it. But on a 13, 14 car, there's like way more. Some would argue that that's the better S197, but I think we all know the 11 to 12 is the master race. So I'm going to go ahead and get the bolts on the other side and then come back once this is ready to pop off. So with all those bolts off, you can now go ahead and start to pull the bumper out. All you do is just want to pull at the top. Just pull, give it a nice tug, it'll pop free. And then keep pulling, and then you've got to get past the bracket stuff underneath. There you go. And once it's free, it'll just kind of hang there. Do the other same thing on the other side. A big bottom boom. Now your bumper is more or less free to come off. Um, for me, So with my bumper holder in place, I'm going to go ahead and pull this the rest of the way off. Alright. There we go. That's that. And this is nowhere near as much room as I thought I was going to have. Alright, I'm going to pull the front wheels off because I need more room and those brake ducts are going to have to disconnect from the rotor hats. Fun stuff. Alright, we've got the uh, brake duct disconnected. What you want to do is basically just pull this uh, bumper support piece out. Just got some plastic tree clips that hold it in place. So one on each side. No. Just one piece. Slide it off. I guess first things first is from the insulation. It's to the direct
have something to thread into. So that's the bracket started on the front bumper. I'll try and give you guys a slightly better camera angle. So now we're just gonna keep tightening down the two little bolts here. Not all the way, just finger tight I believe, because you probably still need some wiggle room and whatnot as far as the bottom goes. Now the next step would be to put the um, brackets for a front splitter on, but I don't have front splitter support. Basically just move, skip that step. So that's the spacer. So I slid that on and then put the tow hook in place. And I'm now tightening down the four nuts from the bottom side. All right, so it does seem like you can put the foam piece back in place. I wasn't sure because it didn't really say anything in the directions. Uh, I did actually break mine in the process just now. There's a piece down there. Rip. Oh well. It's not a big deal because you do still have the, just the two push pins that hold it in place. So now that that's on and I've more or less got this just kind of mocked up. I realized after I put this back on that I actually don't have that bracket centered. It's one piece off to the side. But it's not tight yet anyways. I'm just gonna throw the front bumper back on and uh, I guess do like a first test fitment to see, okay, one, do I have to cut? And then two, do I like where it's sitting? Do I wanna move it? And then we'll go from there. So, we are really close to fitment, but what's happening is the top of my Cervini splitter right here, it's actually hitting the front uh, where that spacer's at. So I am gonna have to go ahead and trim uh, this top piece down in either just the center or all the way across the top to make it even. Um, so that there does provide clearance for the front bumper to sit all the way back. I was hopeful, but not also not like expecting uh, for it to work out that easily. So I'm gonna go ahead and find my Dremel and get to cutting. Oh yeah, I don't recommend just blindly cutting. Blowfish Racing says that a template for cutting this um, with a kit, but I didn't get one. So. it's pretty much sitting at its proper height and everything like that more or less all ready to go and this is looking great clearance is just enough um, and like I said you can't even really tell that I had to cut it so that looks really good I think and this is the furthest out position so I can tuck it further in but where it sits currently it's basically right at the front of the bumper and just real flush trying to give you a better view there you go so I think I like right there I like where it's at you know, uh, a little bit further out because you know a little extra hot boy points there I mean you may think it's right see I don't really know a lot of little extra tongue action on oh, Steve I like it <laughs> we'll put it back together and show you guys finished product Yeah, man. 
I dig it. Full race car right there, buddy. And again, this is the furthest out setting. So I could actually put that further back if I'd like. But I don't know, I kinda like it where it's at. All right, I think that's gonna do it for this video, guys. So, if you're new to the channel, definitely consider subscribing uh, so you can stay tuned for more content. Hit the thumbs up button if you liked the video and enjoy the install. Uh, pretty cool. Uh, but that's it. I hope this was helpful for you guys that are interested in the Blowfish Racing tow hook. Very limited cutting compared to some of the other options out there. They're a company all about racing, so that's always a good thing too, right? So, all right guys, peace out. I'll catch you in the next one. Do you want to tell everyone how you hate the tow hook? Not a fan. Not a fan? That's okay. Just make it a bomb ass dinner, so I ain't even mad. <laughs>